Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Ignore the opinions of others. Whatever people do, feel, think, or say, don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinions according to their belief systems. So whatever they think about you is not about you, but it's about them. That's a, that's a tricky card, man. <laughs> Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 168, NASDAQ up 236, SP's up 50, gold, gold contract up $20.20, 20 trading at 1946 an ounce. We have silver up 94 cents, 24 dollars 71 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down 83 cents, 78 dollars 82 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note up 27 ticks, trading 109.29. The 30 year up a full point plus 29 ticks at 120.08 and King Dollar. King Dollar gave it up, folks. King Dollar down 164 ticks, 103. 399. Now, that doesn't seem a lot, 167 ticks, and it's not, but I'll show you why it actually, I'm saying it's giving it up. The euro is at 108, the yen is at 144, and the British pound is at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. We'll bring up the futures contract first. My take, we're going to run right into the close, by the way, folks, okay? Bottom line, what you have out here, you know, is you, you climbed up, you know, we bottom line just had another pop up right here. You pulled first pullback was, you know, about uh, an hour ago. We, you know, we just came in again with volume. This thing's going to go up. It's, it's, hey, listen, this thing wants to bounce. That's the real bottom line. If I bring the spy up, what you're going to see in the, inside the spy is that you are going up and you're contracting on volume. That being said, uh, you know, this baby. Right now, you're at 443, you're up 4.8, and you know, you got 446 to like, 446 is the low of a high volume bar. So if we get some juice, it'll probably try to get into that, or it gets into the lows of the high, which is uh, 451. That's how this is set up. Now, if that's what we do, what, you know, what would end up happening is this. You can't do an ABC down, well, you can do it, but the definition of an ABC down is you don't do more than a 0.618 retracement. So if we do more than a 0.618 retracement, then what we're going to have is that you're going to have a consolidation with the highs of this uh, SPY being at that 470 and the lows being out here at that 433. Now, that's a, that's a trading environment and a half, man. I mean, big time. That's inside the SPY. We go to the notes and bonds. Now, this is, we got a lot of movement here, man. And I think we've, we've seen a lot of turns. And my take is that the note and bond market have also bottomed. And I mean bottomed, okay? So, I mean, higher prices are coming at us, lower yields. That the yield probably topped out yesterday. You can see right here, what you have, we have wide price spread. You have accelerated volume. We have 2.3 million. You broke the downtrend. And the 10-year, that's saying, hey, guess what? We're going higher. If we go to the gold market, if you haven't test-driven the gold report, folks, you want the gold report, go do it right now. Just go do it, man. Because <laughs> the bottom line is that, you know, the way that this had come down and the way that it was trying, um, you know, this broke the downtrend today. It, what it had done, it had come back into the March level, had dramatically lighter volume, Took off like a rocket ship today when the dollar gave it up. Has the wide price spread. Has the accelerated volume. If you go to the GDX, you're going to look at them. They're all they're all moving. And when they move, man, they move. You know, the GDX right now, you get the expansion with volume. You know, we made a low in the GDX with 15,000 shares and 18,000. We've done 19 right now. You can see the, you can see the break. The, the break is there, man. You get the wide price spread, you actually jump the trend line, the whole ball of wax, and then where are we going? We're going right into that dollar, this thing DXY. So we take a look at the dollar. What you're going to have with the dollar is that it spiked this morning. See, check, check this out, man. This was the, this was the most, the, the reason that you're hearing this in my voice, folks, 
This is the most deviant thing the dollar could have done. Meaning, you know, you heard me out here yesterday. I, I was looking for quite some time that, okay, this, this dollar man wants to get up to that next swing point, right? And then, you know, what we did is that we did a last engulfing yesterday. Now, when we did the last engulfing yesterday, the way that it works is that you have to close lower today. And so this morning, I'm looking at this market, I'm saying to myself, oh my God, I don't believe it's going to spike it. So it spiked it, but when it spiked it, once I saw it starting to come back, I says, oh, that is the most deviant thing it could do. Why? Because it spikes it, number one. That means that if you're any trader, you say, oh, no, going to the next swing point. It spikes it, it gives it up. Now it's going to be a confirmed lost engulfing. That's the bottom line. And, you know, the dollar right now runs everything, you know. So... If the dollar continues to go lower, you're going to see that the market's going to get breathing room to go higher. The metals are definitely going to go higher. And the bonds, you know, we'll find out if that this is just a bounce on a bottom or, in fact, you have a real bottom going in. When I was looking at the mortgage rates last night and looking at the inflation numbers, the inflation numbers, inflation's over, man. You know, where, where... That's my all. That's also my take. That yeah, you're gonna have some small prices, but the big prices, transportation, food, appliances, it's over. It's 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 over. It's it is. I I do enough business that I know when I'm buying stuff right now. I just did a deal this morning, and that's what really made me. It's like oh, you got to be kidding me, man. Um, the amount that I paid less. I mean, it was extraordinary to the point of not 10 or 20 percent. We're talking about way over that number. Way, and so it was like, okay, you don't get those types of numbers unless inflation's boom, it's over. Dow, Dow's up 154, Nasdaq's up 234, S&P's are up 48. Stay right there, folks. We got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up next because he's going to be doing a webinar for you right after my show. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.